I read that you actually got into boxing because it was a one-on-one -on -one sport. Why do you like flying solo? Um, I don't like to. I don't like to depend or rely on nobody. I'm a person that likes to do everything on my own. Um, I was a star in baseball. I was a star in football. But because of my team, I was I was I was never able to get that shine because we was never we wasn't able to win. I would play my part, and they wouldn't, so we wasn't able to shine. And boxing is up to me, and I shine in there. And there's nobody that could that could stop me when I'm in there. When it's when it's one on one, I make sure I get the job done. What other things about boxing do you love? Um, I like the, I love the competition. I like that there's always somebody better than you out there. Um, I love the training. Uh, I love the connections you build of boxing and 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 the, and, the, and, the, and the fan and the family that you build off of it. And the most thing I love is it's very competitive. I love it because it's competitive and it's hard and it's not easy. So you have a very competitive nature. Yes. So you want to impose your will more so. Is that a, a thing that every fighter needs to have that competitive nature where they want to impose their will? Or can a fighter go through it and just be really athletic but not have that, I can't think of the word, but you know that, uh, that, that, that grit. That grit, yes. No, you need that grit. In this sport, you need that grit. Because if you're athletic and I have that grit, I'm going to beat you. I'm going to beat you because I want it more. And you gotta, you, and, and, and if you want it, you're gonna get it. You're gonna make it happen. So we, us as fighters, we need, we need that fire inside of us. We need that grit. We need that, that passion. We need that, that explosion. Are you gonna fight more in the United States? Yes, in 2018, I'm gonna have a lot of fights in the U.S. Hopefully, only one, one or two overseas, and probably three or four in the U.S. So I'm gonna be busy. Have five, at least five or six fights. Um, this, this upcoming year and everything's gonna be great. You missed the international, man. You must have like 20,000 stamps on your passport. <laughs> How many countries have you fought in? Oh, uh, prior to fighting on the USA national team, I fought all around the world. I've been to Poland, I've been to um, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, Mexico, Venezuela, Costa Rica as an amateur, um, France, now as a pro, I've been traveling to Uruguay, Mexico, DR, um, Belgium, and the list keep going. I was supposed to fight in China. I went out to China, didn't fight an opponent, or well, opponent pulled out. So it keeps going. What's your favorite country to fight in? My favorite country to fight in is the U.S. Yeah. I see you have the uh, rock and the Puerto Rican chain there. Right there, the Puerto Rican medallion. Class. Puerto Rico! <laughs> you know it. So are you gunning to take Miguel Cotto's place? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be the new, the new face of um, Puerto Rico in boxing. Um, right now, nobody has done what uh, Miguel Cotto has done in, for the, in Puerto Rico, or, or what Trinidad has done, or, um, or um, this dude named Hector Macho Camacho has done. And I'm, I, I believe so, I know so, I'm going to be the new face of Puerto Rico in boxing and also the Dominican Republic. Claiming DR too? You know it, got to claim DR. <laughs>